All right. Let's make sure everything's good here. And my phone doesn't have the audio playing in the background. It's Crash Bandicoot 2. Cortex strikes back. There it is. Hey, hamster. Oh, whoops, I accidentally hit continue. <laughs> I can't be doing that. Go back. I'm starting a new playthrough. I'm not gonna play my 100% file. Let me know if the volume is uh, off. I don't want the game to be too loud over my... New game. Durr. And my next game after this will, of course, be Crash 3, which I've never played before. Crystals, of course. No. How's the video quality? Unaware of the situation? If we don't have any friends left on the surface, then we'll need to find an enemy. Crash, crash, dad! My battery is fried. Make yourself useful, big brother, and bring an extra battery for me. Get Jimmy Neutron making us get our get his batteries. Clancy Brown is irreplaceable, but Lex Lang does a really good job as Cortex. Wait, really? Clancy Brown voiced Cortex? I didn't. I never knew that. That does not sound like him. Huh. Now that I think of it, it does kind of sound a little like him. Huh. Yeah, I know, I, you know, you're talking about the original. Now that I think of it, yeah, I could, I could see that being Clancy. Well, well, well. If it isn't Crash Bandicoot, welcome. I apologize for the crude means used to bring you here, but I'd rather expect a written invitation would have been turned down. I need your help. Surrounding you are a series of five doors. Through each door lies a well-hidden crystal. The crystals look like this. Bring me the crystals, Crash. That is all I will say for now. We will speak again. This remake looks so good. This is the Crash Bandicoot game I grew up with. I didn't have the first one as a kid. And I have a lot of very fond memories with this game. My parents were out and my aunt was watching over me and my sister and I just like played through this for like eight hours straight. This is some kind of overly critical of the new ones. The Coco and Torquex are perfect, yeah. I, I like Engine. Engine sounds pretty close to the original. Okay. 
Warped. That was the shitty one on the GameCube, right? Or was that Wrath of Cortex? I always mix them up. I did have the shitty one on the GameCube later down the road, and that was a bad one. That was Wrath of Cortex. It was on the PS2, but it was also on the GameCube. That was the point when, um... Crash went multi-platform. I don't plan on getting all the gems. I'm gonna do this like I did with Crash 1, because I don't feel like 100%ing this game twice. That This will be like the last Crash game I played on stream. I'm just gonna play through the story in one go, and then I'll go onto my old file and show off the 100% ending. So, Tigers has meaning Tigers, uh, another game I plan on doing at some point. So I heard that one was good. I'm too lazy to sit on top of those multi-jump boxes, so I just smashed through them. <laughs> oh man, I love how quiet this computer is. Even like the startup is really silent. Last computer, when I turn it on, it's like when it turns on. And then the entire time it was running, it would have that loud ass engine sound you guys are know of, now familiar with. Oh, hey, I got a gem. So they wish they patched into this game was an option for the PS1 soundtrack. Spyro, Ignite, and Crash Team Racing both have that. Yeah, the remixes are great, but it would have been nice to have the option. Yeah, my, uh, this computer, I haven't had any issues since. I... I, I also did a Windows update, which probably fixed the issue, too. Well done, Crash. I knew I could rely on you. Now listen carefully. These holograms are hard to maintain. During the course of my intellectual pursuits, I have stumbled across a force that threatens to destroy the world. The crystals are the only means of containing it. The fate of the world is at stake. It is imperative, therefore, that you bring them to me. Are you there, Crash? 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 Are you there, Crash? Are you there, Crash? There's an Easter egg if you leave the level before getting the first crystal. Yeah, if you, I actually got the achievement for that already. I, I should have showed that off. Yeah, you can piss off Cortex, like... No, Crash! 
you're supposed to get the crystals. And like, if you keep leaving and coming back, he'll get more and more angry. Until finally he just snaps. Ah, that was bad timing for that to end. So angry deletes your save. Like how the witch and banjo would do that if you use cheats. That's funny. <gasps> oh, I hate ice. I didn't have enough. Momentum. At least that was the bonus area, so I didn't lose anything. This game's a little less giving on lives than the first one was. You guys remember my first playthrough? It's like, I, I'm, my playthrough of the first one. I was getting a uh, free life every like five feet. And then I would die maybe like one or two or twice a level. So by the end of the playthrough I almost had 99 lives racked up. three games I don't have the 99 achievements in. Um, I, I farmed on a level. I can't remember which. I actually could have gotten the uh, gem on this level if I hadn't skipped the boxes in that one ice area. Um, Naysay really lost it after the events of Season 9. Yeah, someone's actually sucking his dick while he's on the mic, <laughs> and he's like trying to keep it together. <laughs> That's way funnier to me than <laughs> the idea of that. I always love these levels. They're like nice. I wonder, could I 
I could have dusted that. <laughs> just does backstrokes yeah The jetpack levels were always fun, too. This is a good game. I, I like this one so much more than one. One had some really bad level design. I at least enjoyed one a lot more when I wasn't going for the gems. Jetpack levels are some of my favorites. I will communicate with you again after you retrieve the fifth crystal. Something I think would be fun is if there was like a trainer for this game and like one of the settings on it were to put the jetpack on crash so you could like fly around on any level. I want to see what kind of ways you can break levels by doing that. <laughs> When I was a kid, getting three Aku masks in a row like this was like unheard of. I'd do it like once on like the first level at most. And then look at this, I'd do it twice in one level. Just lost the mask. Oh, that was a side spike. I shouldn't have done that. Uh, insane remake. Seems only fall, they split paths, re at the backtrack. Yeah, I, I always hate that. It stresses me out having to go backwards and not being able to see. Wasn't as bad as some of the gems in the first game, though.
Oh, yeah, I don't like those kind. I... Whenever I play with cheats in a game, I only like the ones for dicking around. I don't like the infinite lives or... You never die crap. That's not fun. I like the stuff that lets you, like, break the game. Or, like, fuck with it. Um, back when I was super into emulation as a kid, I basically turned Ocarina of Time into Four Swords. I had, um, the four different types of Link colors running side by side across the field, and I would just run around slashing it. Style Childs at night. The best part was you can control the clones during cutscenes. So, a character would be talking, and there'd be a bunch of links running around in the background acting like morons. One of these levels. Ba-ba-da-ba, ba-ba-da. I'll look at the chat when I'm done. I have a break too, anyways. Trainer menu on Discord. Okay. I'm going to show you guys a pepperoni secret in a second. Yeah, you unlock Coco after the first boss, just like the first one. Wait, what? I thought that was... I must be thinking of a different spot. I thought that was supposed to take you to a different area. It was like a secret. You know what? I think it's the one with the bear. Oh, whoops, I, I guess I shouldn't have been looking at the chat there. Different level, okay. Well! These levels are super easy once you get the sprinting shoes. Which you get for beating Cortex, so that's not until you beat the game. It was nice, though, going back to do the uh, time trials. Shit! I meant to do a slide jump. I'm mistapped. Oh, 
I want to live. Ooh! Um, no, you can't go back. The boulder blocks the path. You guys remember the, uh, playthrough of the first game? When I fought Ripper Roo, and it was like the, the, the explosives floating in the water. And I had to set them off just right so that they would blow up next to him. Well... Oh, I missed the pits. Wait a minute. This, this... Well, I fight Ripperoo again in this one, and it's a much better fight. Uh, this box broken by the boulder wouldn't count. Yeah. I don't remember doing it in the original either, but... I also haven't played the original in... Like, ten years. Or longer. It's been longer than ten years, for sure. I think I was like eight or nine the last time I played the original. I, I guess I did. Maybe I took the wrong path. That's what's confusing me. I, I guess I, I'll take the left this time. Oh my god, I missed it because I took the right path. That's so stupid. Luckily, there's not too many levels that do that. And this isn't an overly long level either. I'm near the end. I'm not gonna bother with that. No, I don't want it! Love it when I try to do a slide jump and I accidentally do a face plant instead. You know what? That's the trick to getting more distance. You gotta do like a spin. You can actually clear those. You gotta do like a very specific jump though. Let's see if I can get this one. Fuck. I was never good at it. Yeah, the path should merge before the crystal. Like, the crystal should be in that little area right after the merge. Alright, now I can fight Ripperoo. And he's a lot more tolerable than in the first game when you fight him. And then we're never going to see Crash again. Oh, right, it's not like the first game. The bosses have their own door now, so you can actually fight them again. Something I really appreciate. Yeah. Oh, not yet. Fight them in the original Crash 2 with a button code, but Cortex is permanently locked off if you get all the gems. Oh, that's annoying.
I didn't even know that there's a button code. I didn't know Crash 2 had cheats. Oh, that wasn't fair. Yeah, it, it's not like the stupid fight in the first one too, where you had to just kind of get lucky and everything everything line up. Ripperoo's boss in the first game was some like awful design. Shit, I went to run away from it. I knew I was close, too close, but it was too late. What sucks with boss fights is if you die, you have to start the whole thing over. Just slid foot first into his balls. Cock and ball torture. Why do you do that? Why do you get to jump right at me? Oh, did it. Um, oh, there it is. <laughs> I see that Ripper Roo failed to prove much of a challenge yet again. But back to business. There are crystals to be gathered, 20 to be exact. The planets will align shortly, all 13 of them. And this will create a power great enough to rip the Earth apart. Properly utilized, however, the crystals can absorb and contain the energy. Crash, is that you? I've been looking everywhere. I don't have much time to tell you this. You have to be careful. Trusting Cortex seems a little unwise, Crash. I can't keep the data path open much longer. Crash, you need to... All right, bye, Crash. <laughs> we knew you well. Yeah, Cortex is using him. He pretty much says that right in the beginning of the game. He's trying to use Crash. He wants the crystals to power his Cortex Vortex.
Shit. <gasps> I didn't notice that that was ice. Hey, Valor. Why wouldn't she slide? There it is. Oh, and I overshot it. <laughs> I can just do a regular jump. That's fine. Walk this crash. Yeah, I, you have to do the boss fights as crash. Also, there's a few specific levels where you have to play as crash, like the jetpack levels. I guess Naughty Dog didn't want to... go through the work of being able to get so Coco could use the jetpack. My, um, family share with Navy means I'll be able to stream, uh, Spyro as well, since he owns the Spyro remakes. I've never played any of the Spyro games outside of the one on GameCube, Enter the Dragonfly. I didn't know that that was considered the bad game by most people, so it gave me a very bad impression on Spyro, so I never gave it a try. After that, like that was the one Spyro game I played. I didn't like it, so I never touched Spyro again. But apparently, that was a universally hated one. So I'm not gonna let my first impression spoil it. I'm gonna try it out. I think I'm gonna like it. This is a very quick level if I go for the secret. I'm gonna play the whole level though. The trick here is you jump on the boxes instead of getting on the thing here, and you want to get on that platform over there, and it'll take you to a secret level. Come on, come up! I was hoping it would come up underneath me. You know what? Oh no, I wouldn't have made that jump anyways. I was gonna say, I probably could have just gone over. Oh, that doesn't stay up long.
Remember yesterday when I did the stress test on recording, and I was able to do that secret on the first try? Where did that skill go? What, what happened? I'm telling you, streamer's curse is real. I'm streaming and now I'm bad because of it. <laughs> Once you have an audience, you become bad at video games. I could have gotten over there and got some lives or something. Oh well. I was dicking around as a kid and did that on accident, and it blew my mind. This is another crash only level. I love this theme. Oh, right, you can't just run through enemies. The bear. Wait, what happened there? I, like, jumped in the air. <laughs> off of nothing. Bear secret. There's another level like this, and at the end with this water section, there's icebergs you can jump on. That was like one of the very few secrets that I found as a kid. And it was just me tinkering around like, hey, can you can actually jump on these? And then it took me to a secret warp.
See if we're gonna get a second monitor. Probably not. I don't even have the desk space, and even if I did, I don't really see a need. I have a monitor for reading chat, so... I mean, I have my phone for reading chat. Shit. Oh, I died for a couple of Wumpa Fruits. Yeah, it's like it's only there for... Getting the gem. Worth it if you don't die, because, oh, god damn it. Worth it if you don't die, because you get the Wumpa Fruit to go towards another life, but if you fuck it up, then it just ends up becoming waste. I think this is the one where you jump down, actually. Because I remember a bonus area being right after it. Nope, that's not it either. I'm not even gonna bother anymore. It's not even worth it. It's it's a thing to find if you want to get a gem, but that's about it. You're supposed to just know to drop down one of those. Actually, I think it gives you a hint, too, on a loading screen. Unbroken planks at the end of it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. The sewer levels were such a pain in the ass to speed run when I did my full playthrough of this. The eels made it miserable. Also the fans.
don't remember what's the end of this secret. Oh, it's a gem. Another gem that I didn't find as a kid because it's so... Uh, cryptic to get this one because you have to like phase through a solid object. Not to mention you wouldn't be brave enough to jump against a solid object when this like nitro box is right there where merely touching them will blow you up. Yeah, I guess that would be a hint. One might also think like, oh, there's a bunch of nitro boxes in here that I won't be able to get towards the box gem if I don't find the switch. I don't know. Well, clipping through gets you a um, gem west, and the gems are used to get the full ending. Yeah, that would make it too obvious. The whole point of that one is to be cryptic. Oh wow, I 100% of this level in one go. Favorite boss. As a kid, it was my favorite, anyways. I don't know, Engines is pretty good, too.
Tiny's a good one too, yeah. Oh, I have to spin into him, that's right. Durr. I like how he doesn't even, like, start throwing towards me. He, like, faces away from me and starts throwing him. It's so easy. I remember this fight being a little harder. I like how he spun into me and it didn't hurt me. <laughs> Done with this floor. Okay, camera. Good show, Crash. The Komodo brothers obviously lacked your metal. But now's not the time to get cocky. There are still many crystals to obtain. Remember, the world is counting on you. Yeah, it's a quick game if you're not 100%ing it. I'm probably going to play Sonic 1 and 2, uh, the adventure games I mean, before I get to Crash 3, because I plan on Crash 3 being a 100% playthrough. Almost made the same mistake twice. Also, with those two new bosses for the second game, like Rue was the boss from the last game. Uh, Komodo Bros were new to this game, uh, this series. And Crash 1 had, instead they had uh, Pinstripe Pete. Uh, Koala Kong, I think was his name. I don't remember all their names. I'm not familiar with all of them. But yeah, not all of the... Yeah, Rue is the only old one. I think Rue ended up becoming a staple of the series, didn't he? Dangling over my monitor, it's getting a little annoying. No, 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 no. God damn it. Brew, Qualicom, and Brian Cortex himself. Kong disappeared after Crash 1 and never appeared for ages afterwards. Papa Papa reappeared as bosses in CTR, and Brio is erased from the series after this game. Really? I could have swore and Brio's in uh, tag team racing. I might be remembering wrong. I know Engine is in that one. I always played as Engine.
I also haven't played Tag Team Racing in forever, so I don't remember a lot of things about that game. That's not what I wanted to do. Wonder why they got rid of them. I guess just because they'd rather make more new characters, which is good. That's fine. I still think Toon Sanity is a very underrated game. It did have its problems, though. There was a lot of things that. I remember, um. That. Ba -da -da -ba 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 -ba. Up, up. section was getting on my fucking nerves. I was struggling with some of the platforming and the music was just starting to drive into my skull. Oh, uh, it's Toy Rant. Uh, another sewer level. That's the face of somebody who knows that they're walking in, like, shit water. <laughs> oh, right, they don't stop, do they? I say, like, just as he stops. for not being relevant anymore. No, he's not really evil, just someone Cortex took advantage of. Yeah, and this one he kind of proved that too, because um, the 100% ending, he helps you beat Cortex. Would have been kind of nice, though, to see him come back as, like, an ally to Crash. They brought him back in Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel, but that game has literally almost every Crash character ever now. Oh, wow, that was cool. <laughs> Bye, Golden Aku. Oh, look at that. I could have gotten a triple Aku, too, if I'd have just been patient and these things respawn. I didn't realize that. Damn it. What, what the fuck? What hit me? I didn't even see it. And I'm dead. <laughs> get out of the water, get out of the water.
Get out of the there. So like I said, um, after I finish Crash 2, I'm going to play Sonic Adventure 1, at least, before I play Crash 3. Um, that's going to be, um, I'm going to do a modded playthrough. I'm not going to do too many mods, just little things to improve the game. Like I'm going to get the better Sonic Adventure DX, which restores a lot of the DS, uh, the Dreamcast stuff, I mean. Uh, makes the game less buggy, look better, all that. Um... There's a, a lot of other things I'm going to be getting too, like the better Amy Rose mod, which gives her some new abilities. Little things like that. That'll be fun. I don't know if I'm going to play both Sonics in a row, or if I'm going to switch back to Crash 3 after 1. haven't decided yet. I guess it depends on what people rather. Watch. I've been in the mood for some Sonic lately, so... I don't want to wait until I beat Crash 3. Because again, I plan on that being a full playthrough, and that's going to take more than one stream. I'll read the chat in a second. I want to finish this level up. Oh, so I gotta work on making people mods. I keep forgetting to do that. Make people mods on Twitch, so again. Ah, this is one of the few secrets I ever found, was jumping on the things. This Adventure 2 story is only a couple hours long. Yeah, I might just do both Sonics in a row. Just because of that. Like, both games are relatively quick to finish. Nice jump. Platforming expert. Wait, what? But I died. What? 
Why is this here? I <laughs> have what? I'm not really feeling like tackling a death road though. Especially since I don't know if I would take. Yeah, the crystal's right here. I would have missed the crystal. That is going to turn these into nitro, isn't it? Oh no, this is a different area that I'm picking up. Yeah, there's the gem over there I would have gotten. I did it again. I'm like dyslexic or something, and sometimes I just press shit in the wrong order. I think we're getting close to fighting Tiny. Is this the last level? Yeah, this is the last level of the floor. I think this is the one where you ride the bear while a giant bear chases you. Oh no, it's just running from a giant bear. There is one where you ride a bear while a giant one chases you. Uh, I think that's the next. No, it's definitely the next four, because we're done with this four after this one. This is the one. Yeah, you jump down there and it's a secret. Fuck it. I have the crystal. Let's go for it.
Ah! That's right, you can't spin the robot ones. Oh, I thought I could crouch under it. I almost went for a slide jump and that would have knocked me off with the mole coming up underneath me. <sighs> I shouldn't have gone for this. This is a great way to get lives when you don't die like 15 times and end up using all the lives that you actually get from it. Well, I got out with the Golden Aku, so I guess that was worth that. Watch me lose the Golden Aku here. Crates give you lives every time. It'd be an even better way to get lives. Yeah, definitely. You could just farm. But this game just had to have good game design. <laughs> we don't need all those lives anyways. I mean... I'm at 42 still, and I'm getting close to the end of the game. Okay, well that's lost. <laughs> Crush my cock with a rock? Oh, this is the one. Also, this is the one with the secret exit. That means. A secret... Another one of the secrets I found as a kid just fucking around. You can, uh... Slide jump over this gap. 
And then if you run back over, you'll find the polar bear. If you run up to him, you warp to a secret room. I actually completely forgot about the secret too, and ended up finding it by accident in my last playthrough. <laughs> so twice in my life I found it by accident. strongest forces to thwart you. I'll contact you again when you have completed the next war room. Here we go. Another good boss. the sacks on this level. Nice roan, moron. That saxophone riff always gives me so much nostalgia. Fun boss, but such an easy one. Wait a minute, did the- you see that? The platform right there? It's glitched. It's too low. I've never seen that happen before. Maybe because he died while it was respawning. I've got a passive like Vinny. Games just break when I touch him. Two more floors, this one and then the Cortex floor. It's a quick game. Not even 10 o'clock yet, I might start Sonic Adventure. Whew, how did I not die there? Eh, actually, I should work on Hamster's picture. So, um, I'll do Sonic Adventure 1 tomorrow. Stream in T3 for the pick? What? Oh, you mean the. Uh, I guess if you guys want, I can. Yeah, it took me a bit for you to, to figure that out. Yeah, I got you, two, three. Yeah, I, I know it, I know it, West, man. It just took me a second to process that.
Didn't really miss anything. Okay, that's just the secret area. I'm not gonna bother with it. I'll do this one though. What are you talking about? Tiny's easy. We did that first try. Spreading lies about my skill level. Making it sound like I had a hard time with an easy boss. This game honestly isn't that difficult. Might fuck up here and there and lose a couple of lives, but... Wait, what? I'm... Missed the crystal. How'd that happen? I didn't walk right by it like an idiot, did I? Missing crystals. That secret area I didn't go into? Maybe. I'll try it. I'm gonna be really frustrated if it is in there. It's right here. It's right here. You, you just don't notice it. Because it's like right on the side there with the metal. Oh my god. I, You know what? I think I did that same mistake in my last playthrough. The glow just makes it stand in with everything around it. Because it's making everything around it glow. So it just looks like a little purple bit of environment. Go. 
Go, go. Okay, let's not make that mistake on any more levels. Let's let's beat these on one try. <laughs> This is one of those B levels, isn't it? Yeah, Berlin. These levels are very cheesable. I really hate bees. Yeah, the bees can be a dink too in this game. They go so fast. Okay, fuck you. Come on, get through. Don't know why there's no burrowing area here. Don't remember them taking this long to get to. Okay. Try this again. being able to stream Cuphead on the Switch. Um, I mean, I'm playing this on PC. It doesn't have to be a Switch game for me to play it. Cuphead, however, I haven't really been interested. I, I think it looks like a really cool game. It just also looks like the kind of game that would frustrate me too much. Oh, uh, here we go. Fucking bees. I like how this level is called digging it, and yet so far there hasn't been one single burrowing spot. Yeah, I know it's on Steam as well. Um, I'm just saying, just because something's on Switch doesn't mean I'll automatically play it. It just it doesn't look like a game I'd have too much of a good time with. Looks a little difficult. I don't mind a challenge, but that one looks like a bullet hell, <laughs> from what I've seen. Nice. Welcome back, Loon. Um, West was asking if I would play Cuphead. So it was constantly first, hence why I bought it on the Switch port. I, 
I would stream Sonic Adventure 1 tonight, but I do have to set up the mods, like better Sonic Adventure DX and all that. That is kind of why I decided not to do that tonight, but tomorrow it'll definitely happen. Oh, hey, look. On the level called Digging It, there's finally a spot where you actually dig. Like, towards the very end of the level. What the fuck? There's like one area where you could dig. <laughs> Why is it called digging it? If you don't actually fucking dig. I'm pretty sure the other digging level has a lot more digging areas. I, I never noticed that before. Yeah, there's like hardly any spots to dig on that level. Oh yeah, they'll they'll follow you. <laughs> the one enemy in the game that'll hunt you down. Pretty sure they even follow you through the whole platform, too. Like, as long as there isn't a jump, they'll keep following. One of these boxes has to be worth it. Just a bunch of lump of fruit by the looks of it. Yeah. bug was funny when we're just reposting messages. What brought that up? That was funny though. People pay network uh people people pay money for that shit. How do you mess up that hard? She has no reflection. She has a reflection. So we have the mask though. Oh, I guess the mask's magic hides my reflection. 
It make it gives you protection by making you not really there on that plane, I guess. I don't know. Okay. This is means. I gotta stop sliding. I don't need the slide to make it through. Apparently I do now, all of a sudden. Fuck that up. Yeah, I wouldn't really get that. Oh well, it's lost. Oh, that sets that off. Shit, I thought I could try to slide under. Alright, I'll wait. I didn't make the jump up. Oh, fuck you. Seems like you can go behind something there.
shit. I think this is the last level of four, isn't it? No, 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 this is only like the second one, I think. I'm not paying attention. This is the third. Okay, two more levels and then the final four. Quick game. I don't think there's any more sewer levels left, thankfully. I'm not a big fan of the sewer levels. This is the one with the nitros that appear here. Oh, I have the green gem, so I can actually take that path. I don't think I'd be able to get the crystal, though. bother with that. Oh, fuck off. Wasn't that close. I'm not gonna bother with the ground pound boxes at all this time. I'm just gonna go forward and get as many Wumper Fruits as I can. I wanna finish this up. I gotta get some work done. That's not what I wanted to do. I accidentally tapped the B button because it was too close to my... One more time, if I fail again, I'm just gonna keep going. <laughs> I'm gonna say fuck it.
Meant 90 fruits. Nah, I'm just kidding. Let's try not to do that again. Oh, we're at the chunky dong part. Somehow, little little girl spinning into a giant ass gorilla and it sends him like rocking and uh. Orbit. I cannot believe how fucking cringe these puns are. They're gonna lose subscribers. This is the one that you can cheese by just going through the whole level buried. The guys with the hammers are the only real cha uh, threat, and even them, they're not that difficult to deal with. Crash your Coco and Smash would be great. They should honestly just have them both. Have Coco as a costume. Do what they do with Alomar and Alf. Same moveset. Oh, right, you can't go through the crates either. Oh, there goes my golden Aku. I think this is the level that has the uh, nitro box secret. But yeah, I'd, I'd be very happy to see Crash. He, he deserves it. Okay. That's a little grim. <laughs> I can't believe Coco is fucking dead. Yeah, this is the one. Hmm. It's peculiar how they're making a staircase. I actually probably shouldn't have done that, because now it's going to take me out of the level. Oh, no, wait. This is a... Okay, I thought it was a secret warp to uh, the basement warp room. But no, nope, it's just a path to a gem. Okay. I'm not unhappy with showing off this secret, then. Uh, I mean, I got the gem now, so I don't really need to go in there again. I should have buried. <laughs> I panicked.
secret rooms like the secret warp pipe rooms in Mario? Um, not really. Um, there's... There's secret warps in this where if you... Step in a certain spot, it'll warp you out of the level. And it'll take you to a, um... You know the warp rooms that... Where you select the level? It's basically another floor of that. It's a basement level. And it has, um, extra levels. Like, I think one of them was, like, you have to, like, ride a bear through the dark or something. What does Cortex say if you get the bonus gems? The gems are for getting the secret ending, which I will show off at the end of the stream after I beat Cortex normally with just the crystals. I'm gonna get the normal ending and then I'm gonna go to my other file and I'll show off the 102% ending. Crash. Yeah, that's all I'll say. By Dr. Nitrous Brio, the inventor of the Evolvo Ray. Brio was responsible for our misunderstandings in the past. He forced me to assist him in his plot for world domination, and he's at it again. He will attempt to stand in our way. Be on your guard, Crash. Deliver the crystals to Engine. Yeah, the secret levels are gems only. They're for, they're for getting gems for Embryo. I should jump over it. Shit, I shouldn't have looked at chat. Fuck. Yeah, this is a tough boss. This is one of the tougher ones, in my opinion. It's honestly the only hard one. Mostly just because he moves around too much. Hello. It's 
It's great. Everything runs really smooth. Oh, I see those markers on the ground. I forgot about that. Stop moving so much. Oh, it's so hard. At least it's easier to hit him when he's shooting, but that's so brief. Okay, there's one out. Shaking his non-existent fist at me. I remember liking this boss a lot as a kid, but now it's just kind of annoying. I didn't remember having this much difficulty in my last playthrough. Okay, here we go. Um, after the stream, I'll share my rig in the chat, the one that I bought. Final four. Five more levels. I hate these enemies. The ones that open and close have like a very buggy hitbox. It's, it's a uh, hitbox doesn't update until like a second after it changes pose. Like that. Like he was very clearly open, but when I landed on him, but it didn't count anyways, and it ate my Aku Aku mask.
There's a bunch of boxes back there you have to backtrack for, but I don't feel like backtracking. You get enough lump of fruits for plenty of lives anyways. <sighs> Wasn't sure if I was gonna manage that. Bastard almost pushed me into the squisher. Yeah, I'd love to get some kind of cheat engine that, uh, makes it so you could use the jetpack on any level, just so I can see how you can, like, fuck with the game doing it. What kind of, like, out-of-bounds stuff I could do. Whoops. Of course, these controls take some getting used to, but... There's not enough jetpack levels in this game. Some people don't like these levels, but I love these levels. Although I don't know if it works like the jetpack. Yeah, that might be just a moon jump. I'll have to see. I'll experiment with it at some point. I love messing with trainers. I have one for Resident Evil 4. Maybe when I do my separate ways stream, I'll also fuck around with the trainer a bit on the stream. Or I could just do a stream of its own for uh, Resident Evil 4 trainer stream and I just like fuck around with glitches and shit. Do like boundary break type stuff. One of the trainer ability, uh, one of the um, cheats on the trainers, um, no clipping. So you can go outside of the map and like explore the little shit that they put outside of the map. Which, you can find a lot of stuff out of bounds in Resident Evil 4. Weapons you're not supposed to get. Glitched items.
The end of dark levels were so fucking shitty in Crash 2. I mean, the Crash 1. Having it tied to an Aku mask, so if you get hit, you lose your light. So frustrating when I... was trying to do the speedruns, because then you don't even have any checkpoints, and you're having to rush through it as fast as possible. And you get hit once, and it's just over. Kind of weird that they never made a DLC level for this game. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. Those weren't, like, extra levels that they made. They're levels that they had made before, but never got actually put into the final game. They just, like, finished them. It is surprising, though. Like, you'd think that Crash 2 would have had at least one unfinished level. Oh, really? So, 3 was a brand new level? Future Tension Crash 3 is 100% original. Huh. I mean, hey, they gave us something at all. It is too bad that like, Crash 2 didn't get something new. Two more levels. And then the easiest boss in the universe. I hit B, but he didn't go back. I mean, Wrath of Cortex in general, like as a whole, should have been scrapped. <laughs> Oh, that game was bad. I was not a picky kid when it came to video games, but that game fucking bored the shit out of me. I should probably stop looking at the chat now and pay attention and not fly straight into wires three times in a row. Oh, Wumpa Fruit! I'm gonna get the Wumpa Fruit! I'm sure it'll be fine. Thought you got me, didn't you? Fake ass bootleg Terminator. Mm -hmm. I like it for the minecart levels. I'm anxious to check out Crash 3. I hear that's the best one.
Nice. Like that, that's uh, just clipping through the ceiling there. That's fine. Alright, last level, here we go. And then, like I said, I'll switch to my old file and I'll show off the ending that you get if you get all the gems. Okay. I hate the hitboxes on this enemy. It's better to just go for the slide, because it always... No, he didn't go up fast enough. That is a cock place to have one of those. I can't wait for Destroy All Humans and Spongebob to come out. Those don't even go down all the way anyway, so I shouldn't have even been worried about that. I'm gonna stream both, for sure. Oh, of course it jumped as soon as I jumped. That is like the worst part of the game right there, is that one section. Oh, 
I'm near the end of the level, and this is the final level. So I probably shouldn't even have to worry about doing a bonus stage, because I have more than enough lives. If I fail this... I was just about to say, if I fail this stage, I'm gonna just keep going. I don't need to do it. I'm good. 36 lives. Cortex is piss easy, so... I actually died on purpose there, because I wanted my mask back. Ah, well. And then I didn't make that jump anyways. And hip jump in time. Could I slide jump over that whole thing? <sighs> this is like the only hard level in the entire game. Alright, now I'm getting free Aku masks. That jump is just too tight, and there's not enough time to actually make it. I'm not gonna make that same mistake from before. I'm gonna... There we go. And it's done. Lost like half of my lives. Alright, piss easy boss time. This was a lot harder than the original version. <laughs> you just have to avoid the asteroids and catch up to them and hit them.
You have a time limit. There's like a portal he's trying to fly to to escape. And that's it. Run faster, hold down the button while running. Yeah, I just unlocked the running shoes. Which I guess you get those right from the get-go in uh, Crash 3. I'll show off the 100% ending now once this is done. So yeah, 100% ending, you beat Cortex, but he still has his machine floating in space. That's gives you a new ability. Cortex is the speed shoes, because you need the relics to unlock the last few gems. Oh, wow! Every boss gives you an ability. I, I kind of wish I didn't know that, because that would have been a nice surprise, but I'm okay with it. Alright, now... I'm gonna go ahead and quit, and- Oh! No, wait, that's not the way to- I, There's a load button. I should hit that instead. Alright. I have to hit continue and then hit the button. Okay. Load. So, if you get every single gem, there are 42 gems, five of them being colored. Then you go to fight Cortex. Oh, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait. It's, um,. You go up in this one, because Cortex's boss is still available. You bring the gems to Embryo. And this happens. We are ready, Honors? <laughs> And you defeat Cortex without even having to fight him. <laughs> yeah, I just realized that. I forgot that I turned off autosave after I got the 100%. Alright, let's get I noticed as I went to the load screen that uh, both files said 100%. But yep, yeah, that's that. That's the 100% ending. You, you don't have to fight Cortex. You just blow him up. Uh, I guess I, you know what, uh, West was asking about the secret zones, so I guess I'll do that real quick. I'm gonna go to a secret. It was bared down, I believe, on this level, yeah. I'm gonna get the secret on this level, just to show an idea how this worked. Nope, this isn't the one. It's it, it's the fourth floor, I think, actually. Behaving. Uh, I could have swore. Maybe it was this floor, and it was just a different bear level. Bear down. Unbearable. This one. Okay, I'm gonna get the secret on this level.
I'm gonna show how fast this works. I have the running shoes now too, so I can show off that. They make these running levels a lot easier for obvious reasons. I had this bear active before that one even finished slamming into the room. Running shoes are great, it's a pity you have to unlock them and you can't just use them. I feel like they add a lot- they add so much more to the mobility and what you can do and... It's a pity you don't get them until you finish the game already and there's not much more to do. That one does? Oh, well, it's just this one I remember anyways. That's right, that's right, Unbearable's the one with the, the platforms in the water, right? So you just jump off over that, and you're under the bear. And this takes you to the basement of the warp room. Here's where there's like a bunch of like secret levels. Like totally bear. Uh, let's try this one. I think this is the one where you ride the bear in the dark. Or it was something like that. It was like some gimmick. Yeah, it's dark. I'm down to playing a couple of these bonus levels, why not? Whoops. This one was a miserable one to get the boxes on. Also, I had trouble with the time trial. The time trial was the real hard part for me. Yeah, the other three are just alternate paths, so I might as well just do the two secret ones. Don't know what the trick is to that jump. If you do the boost, you bump your head. Guess you just have to not get the boxes there. Because the arch is too low on that side. Checkpoint. Hopefully that doesn't bite me in the ass. <gasps> it did. If Crash gets eaten, yeah. That... Yeah, if he touches the whale, he doesn't get eaten. It just, he turns into an angel like Hugo said. They should have eaten, Cra eaten Crash. Then, like, maybe it'll pop out of the water and, like, spit up a shoe or something. But, eh.
Wait a minute. Huh. Uh. Okay. You can, like, crouch under the rocks there. What's the point in that? And the other secret level is like a night level with the, the fireflies, I think. Totally fly, right? Oh, you know what? It's the ones that don't have crystals next to them. Nothing too special about this level, it's just another Firefly level. I would have liked another uh, jetpack level, but... I really wish you always had the running shoes because, man, they're great. Don't really have much reason to play the game once you've beaten it, so. It is a good thing that I, I took your advice, Hugo, and I waited until beating the game before doing the time trials. I don't know if the time travels even would be possible without the running shoes. Alright, well, that's that. This has been a nice little trip through my childhood. <laughs> Third game's time trials are at least all manageable without the speed shoes because they're designed around the time trials existing. Yeah, that's good. It's still a bad idea to try for gold relics without them. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to wait until I have the, uh, the shoes for it because... It gives me a reason to actually use the shoes. It gives me something to do with them. So next time we'll be uh, warped. Not tonight though. Not next stream either, because next stream I'm going to be starting Sonic Adventure 1, as I said, so. And that'll be tomorrow. Alright. I'm going to call it there, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to get some work done now.